Welcome humans to ETSK Tutorials. So hopefully I got the audio sync issues uh, fixed in this video, but this is going to be a really, really short video anyways, and it's really going to be more of like a warning, hey, don't do this, rather than a actual tutorial of how to do something. I'm really telling you how to not do something. And that's something I will demonstrate right here, and that is inside of first-person shooters. Uh, actually, you can only see when I look at the ground, so if I go all the way down, I'm not looking straight down. I'm looking like most of the way down. And then if I look up, I'm only looking most of the way up. And I hate that in video games. I don't know if everybody else hates that or if that's just me, but for me personally, that is a huge pet peeve. And I actually do see it in a lot of uh, Unity games. And it really annoys me whenever I see that because there's no reason why you should ever not be able to look 100% the way down or 100% the way up. In fact, I've seen some games where you can look just a little bit more than straight down or straight up. And I really prefer that. I really like that little extra bit of uh, flexibility and freedom. And it really comes in handy in situations where like, let's say you're on top of a building and you want to shoot some bad guys that are like right below you. Like you're going to walk up to the edge and try to shoot. But then like if you're stopping, you can't look all the way straight down for no reason, then that's just um, a situation where you are going to be really awkwardly moving around trying to get an angle where you can shoot the enemies, and that's really needless, and it's actually a really easy thing to fix. Um, and the main root of the problem that I think I see most people fall into as to why their games are actually set up like this is because on the first person controller from the Unity standard assets, so uh, when you go to import Unity standard assets, character controllers, and you get the first person controller and you drag and drop it into your scene, by default these two variables right here are set to negative 60 and 60. You should not be 60. Why would you do 60? It makes no sense at all. They should be 90 or a little bit more like 95 or even 100. Like that would actually be really cool. In fact, let's try that. Let's actually set this to 100 and let's see what 100 looks like. So that is maximum Y, uh, wait, minimum Y and maximum Y. Uh, minimum Y is set to negative 100, so I believe that would be all the way down. So greater than 90 degrees, so we should be able to look a little bit below our feet and a little bit above our head, but it's going to be harder to see on our head because we don't really have a skybox or any way of knowing if we're looking more than straight up or down. And, okay, that's a weird glitch that I actually did not know about or foresee coming into this video. So let's change it from negative 100 to 90. And that might be just because I'm using the first person controller uh, standard asset. Yeah, well, now that I set it to 90, I can look straight down. It actually looks pretty good and there's no flickering. For some reason, when I did 100, it was flickering and I have no idea why it's doing that. I guess it's just the way uh, that this thing is coded. So uh, let's actually create a new script. I'm uh, just going to recreate only the camera parts. I'm going to go to create, uh, where is it, camera create a camera. So here is the camera that we're going to be using. Let's put it somewhere in the middle of our scene, a little bit lower. Let's see if I can. Yeah, that some somewhere around there looks pretty good. All right, now let's go to assets, create. Uh, we're going to do this in JavaScript and we're just going to create a mouse look script from scratch. It's going to be actually be really uh, pretty easy. So let's just name this mouse look script. And let's go ahead and open that up. And while we're waiting for that to load, let's drag and drop it. Oh, I didn't have time. Let's try that again. Let's drag and drop that on top of the camera so that we have it on the camera. And I might have accidentally dragged and dropped it onto something else, but that should be okay. We'll see. I don't know. But all right, so here is mono develop. So let me resize that so that everyone can see it just fine inside of the window. Um, and actually, how do I control plus? Actually, no, view, where's text? Text, zoom in, control, plus, plus. Oh, I see, it's control, shift, plus. There we go. Now you should be able to read it. All right, so let's get rid of all this so that all we have is function update. And let's do a variable, and let's have it, uh, let's call it max. I'm actually going to do x, max x. Oops, and let's make that a float. And let's have that by default be 90. And let's do var, oops min x float equal negative 90. 
So the reason why I did X as opposed to Y is because in code, it makes more sense to do X because you're rotating around the X axis. So here is the X axis. So imagine it as like an axle of a wheel. It's going to rotate around that axis. So since we are, want the rotation like this, we got to rotate around the X axis. So in code, we're going to label it as X. Um, now we're going to do var current x and let's make that a float and we can go ahead and leave that as zero var current wait did i spell current current y and let's make that a float all right and i guess let's do one more and var mouse sensitive i don't i can't spell <laughs> whatever it'll mouse move fast <laughs> I'm so good at spelling. All right. Now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to do uh, inside of the uh, update loop. So this updates every single frame. Uh, we're going to do current x plus equal wait, input dot get axis. And the axis that we are looking for in this situation is mouse y. Um, because the Y movement of the mouse, because let me show, let's see if I can get my mouse in view. So this is still Y for the mouse because this is X and this is Y. So it's not rotating or anything. It's just position. So that is why the up and down is still Y when it comes to getting the input from the mouse. It's just that when we apply it to the rotation, we want to apply it to the X rotation because that is the up and down rotation. It just, it technically is rotating around the X axis. It's just, we always think of Y as up and down, but in this situation, X is up and down because we're rotating. Um, and uh, so now that we got the input, and so this uh, input dot get access mouse y. Actually, let me show you. I'm going to go into the Unity editor, and I'm going to go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, and then you can see uh, I have all of the default controls right here. And the ones that we are looking for in particular are mouse x and mouse y. Actually, there's a space in there. Did I? I did it all as one word. Okay. That is better. That's going to give me an error, but whatever. Um, so the thing about this is you want it to be labeled as whatever you want. It's just like any other access inside of the input menu. But you want down here where it says type and you want to do mouse movement and then either the X or Y axis depending on whether. So for the mouse X, X axis, mouse Y, Y axis, pretty self-explanatory. But yes, anyways, so that is the input that we are using. Uh, it's just going to give us the difference in position since the last frame. So it's not going to tell us where on the screen our mouse cursor is it's going to tell us how our mouse moved so if we don't touch the mouse it's going to return zero all right so let's go back into mono develop and so now that we know what this number is uh, we actually want to do we want to multiply it by time dot delta time I think for the mouse it doesn't matter because it uh, isn't constant so we'll try in a second I'm not sure whether or not to multiply that by time dot delta time maybe maybe not actually I don't know um, but we do want to uh, multiply it by mouse move fast which is actually mouse sensitivity but I couldn't spell sensitivity and I didn't feel like googling it so all right we're going to copy this so control copy control V we're going to change this to current Y and we're going to get that from mouse X uh, and that should be good um, and now what we're going to do is current x equal mathf dot clamp. Wait, whoops. Current x between uh, min x and max x. Okay. So basically now what we're doing is we are taking the X rotation of our game object, in this case the camera, and we're, we want to clamp it in between min X and max X uh, just to make sure it doesn't go above 90 or below 90 or whatever number that we want to set uh, min and max X to. Um, so that's just inside of math F. Um, yeah, I think that should pretty much explain what that line of code is going to do. So I believe that is everything that we need to do besides apply the actual rotation. So let's do transform 
the rotation that Euler I mean Euler angles that's the pretend, correct pronunciation of it Euler angles that Euler angles um, equal I believe what do we need to do quaternion dot Euler angles I think that's how you do you got to do capitalize so that returns you a quaternion oh wait Oh, wait, no, it's a vector 3, so I think we can just write it in vector 3 form. We'll find out. I don't know. I'm making up this tutorial as I go, so just let you guys know I might mess up. All right, so we're going to do current um, x, oops, current y, whoops, y, and then 0 around the z-axis, uh, because the z-axis in rotation is like this. So that, that'd be kind of cool in a first-person shooter if you want to do like have the camera tilt when you like side stray for like stuff like that. But in this situation, we are not going to do that. So let's go ahead and go into our game and actually give it a little test and see if it works. Um, no, it is currently not. Oh. Here we go. This is the reason. Uh, let's set this to like 10 or something. I forgot to change the mouse sensitivity. So let's see if it works now. Uh, it, it does, but it's really inverted. So to fix the invertedness of it, uh, we're just going to change this to minus equal as opposed to plus equal. So let's save that and give it a try and see if it is working. Uh, yeah, seems to be working pretty well. I look straight down. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm looking straight down, look straight up. I can't tell because there's no skybox, but straight down seems to be working. So let's see what happens when we set this to 100 and negative 100. Uh, we should be able to look a little bit more than straight up and a little bit more than straight down, and that does appear to be the case. Um, actually, let me do it just a little bit more extreme uh, just so that we can make sure that we see it. So I'm going to do, I don't know, 160 negative 160 this is way way more than you would ever actually want to do i just want to make sure that everything's working totally properly and it definitely seems to be so i would probably set these numbers to 100 i think that uh is a pretty good number where you can look below your feet so like if you're like on a ledge and you want to like shoot somebody that's like a little bit like below you or like like in real life you would you would be able to lean over and shoot down so why not allow that inside of a video game and it's like, it's not going to confuse any of the players. They, they know how first-person shooters work. First-person shooters have been around for, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years, maybe longer, actually. I don't know. They've been around so long. People know uh, to look straight down and straight up. And there's no point in limiting them uh, to not being able to look all the way straight down. Even if there's, like, a model or something, move the model so that your uh, camera isn't clipping through the model. Or, I mean, I've even seen situations where I've seen people say that they don't want to look all the way straight down because it clips with the model of the body but you can't even see the body so why not just not have the body there and you don't have to worry about it clipping through that um, or at least move the camera position uh, so that it doesn't clip just do something just there's no there's never a reason to not allow the player to look straight up or straight down so that's the whole point of this video so hopefully you guys got something out of this and hopefully it was helpful to you maybe maybe not I don't know uh, this is just a random video and yeah so, I guess until next time, I will see you guys later, and keep making games. I meant to say humans. I will see you humans later, and keep making games.